Welcome, moon beings. Welcome, moon beams. Yes. So I have a message for you from the Divine Feminine today and for this coming up energy. She has a lot of things to convey during this time. Um, we have entered into uh, eclipse season. We've entered from the full moon right now, and this can be a timeless message. So let's get right into it. What do you have to say to the collective as I shuffle and hear what spirit has to say? I'm pulling quite a different cards today, and let's just get this message in. What do you have to say, goddesses? Quite a few decks that I'm going to be pulling from, from these messages that they have to say. Underlying love, under undying love, under underlining love as well. That's what spirit is giving me. An undying love, what I sucked, okay? And the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So spirit is saying that. <clears throat> Your love that's within you, the divine feminine is saying, that the divine feminine is saying that the love that's within you stands the test of time. Your love that you have for others is all about internalizing it, regardless of what the situation is going on around you. Love will oversee everything, the divine feminine. Work within that love energy that's in you, that's that surpasses all time, the divine feminine is saying. Now, recepti receptivity, okay, with well, Hathor, all right? Now, with Hathor, gotta have something on my glasses. With Hathor, um, allow yourself to receive this will. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others, okay? So being receptive, being open, being a receptor, being a receiver, okay? Like a vase and receiving water to uh, quench you. And, and this, it allows you to receive. And so you can see here the water that's there, okay? And Hathor, God is Hathor is saying, if you receive it, it's going to increase your intuition, okay? It's going to increase your intuition, your energy, most importantly, when you receive. When you are receptive, you can receive energy and the ability to give to others. So you're doing both. <clears throat> you're, you're receiving with your right, you're receiving and you're giving, okay? And that's an important energy, an important balance as Hathor is explaining, okay? And your left hand is all about receiving, okay? And the right hand is giving. So you want to have that true balance, the divine feminine is saying. And then Mary Magdalene, Goddess Mary Magdalene is saying unconditional love. We're dealing with a lot of love here. And so spirit, divine feminine is saying love is a, a main uh, focus that's going on with this reading and where you need to be, okay? <clears throat> unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Be in, be with love, walk in love, believe in love, and then you will receive the, the love unconditionally, okay? And this is not a popular topic, but Divine Feminine is bringing into this emotional intelligence as we're moving into this message and the months to come that this will carry you in a lot of matters, whether it's a challenging matter or a, a, a matter that you didn't even know about. If you were operating in unconditional love, that's the ultimate love, okay? So that's what the goddesses is sharing through the divine feminine. Now I'm gonna move on to the, the tarot. Thank you, spirit. What do you have to say, divine feminine? What do you have to say, divine feminine? It's a cool day. We've brought this coolness in. 
we've got this uh, kind of fallish weather. It's kind of coming in. Maybe it's coming in in your neck of the woods. It so happened did a quick switch here, okay? As I'm sitting here today to give this message underneath this full moon eclipse energy and this supersonic energy that's surging you to be a different energy moving into the next couple of months. So we have the Prince of Cups. I'm just going to go through and give this reading. There is a deliverance of a message to you uh, from the Divine Feminine is saying all about love, but it's in the area of a gift, a gift that you have been waiting for quite some time. It's going to come to you very subtle messages, but it's, it's coming and it's direct. And then we have the world here, which is saying that, are you going to be open to receive this love? Are you going to be open to receive this gift of abundance and fluidity and prosperity? Are you going to be open to that as it comes to you? Because it's came a long way. This particular love, this particular emotional um, advantage has come from deep waters and it's come through right now through Scorpio. And Scorpio energy is asking you, are you going to be open to receive it? This particular desire that you have had, the Divine Feminine, has been traveling quite some time now, quite some time, and is arriving at this time because this is the time. But are you going to stay closed off from it and don't even recognize it? You must be open to stand in the place of receiving it in a very strong way, okay? In a strong way. And this person is coming in a strong way to you as well. This is also in relation, I'm hearing to work as well. <coughs> Emotional connections do come in, in work environments or business environments because it's part of your passion and it's part of the way making way for you or for your family. Okay, so will you be open to receive it in here in strength and be ready for that? Okay, it's going to be fast. All right, you can actually miss the delivery. It's like FedEx coming and knocking on your door and you miss your Amazon gift, you know, your Amazon purchase and they slap the sticker on the door. They're like, hey, we come back another time. It was an immediate delivery for you to sign off on it. Well, this is what spirit is saying. You have to sign off on this because it's going to come and you have to be willing to be strong and, and stand in your strength to get it. Okay. And be confident in it and be confident that this is for you. And then with this um, here, with this eight of this, this has been in process for a while a while, a lot of work has been put in, but it's still in process to deliver to you because Divine Feminine is saying, it's like you almost are still uneasy about receiving this, about receiving this, okay? You're still contemplating it. You see how this is in reverse, you know? And you're still contemplating the efforts of someone coming to you and efforts of bringing in this goes back to some financial opportunities as well, because you're unsure. Finances always is attached to relationships as well. It can be relationships to the employer, relationships to the business that you have, and relationships with partnerships. And you have to be a person that is going to be honorable in it as well. Okay, so... Take time to know it is coming for you, all right? And then you have to operate in your strength. This is a confirmation of that. Operating in your strength and your confidence as things start to bloom for you, that coming for you in the relationships, in financial relationships, and in um, 
the relationship with your emotions with the person coming through for you as well. I'm also hearing this is related to uh, some of you about your uh, children or contemplating about having children coming in into 2023, all right? I've been guided to go to the bottom of the deck, all right? And this is the two of wands here, okay? And so what Spirit is saying is that you have the world in your hands. There's two ways to make the decision. Will you make the decision with your emotions and make the decision with a lot of um, assurity, a lot of strength? You see the fire that's raising up into your emotions, okay? So that is that is part of the tarot. So let me go to the other messages from the guides. This is the message from the guides that the Divine Feminine wanted me to pull from. So I hope that you are enjoying this Divine Feminine message following right, following right after this full moon and this eclipse energy that we're in. Take it, share it with someone else. You know, like, share, and subscribe and hit the notifications and join my website um, so that that way you know that you can get personalized readings from me, conjure work, uh, spiritual counseling, Reiki, um, so much more joining our tribe, the North Node community, so that that way you have uh, a spiritual uh, family and you don't have to just practice alone. You know, you can get information on Patreon. Make sure that you hit the tip jar that's here. It's a little heart at the bottom that this message resonates with you and give a donation so that that way the energy is an exchange of encouragement. So what do you have to say, Spirit? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Understand your body. Understand your body. The divine feminine is saying, understand your body. Okay. And one of the most important parts of your body is your emotional aspect. The divine feminine wants you to know the, your sensory through your body of your emotions. Okay. Using your sensory of your emotions. And that can be using your, if you're familiar with the heart chakra, that is not just our organ, but your heart chakra sits in the center. And you notice this card is green and it's the focus of that. So you do need to, Divine Feminine saying, you do need to continuously work with your, your emotional connection to your body, okay? And not disconnect your emotions to your body. Align them both together. Okay, align them both together. And then we have be of service, be of service. The divine feminine is saying, help someone else in whatever way that you're guided to help. Okay, so that can be in many ways, giving information, leading uh, some other people in the class, um, helping your community, helping your family to be led down a path that will serve them and looking into their gifts as well the divine feminine is saying and then we she said accept struggles as lessons so when you struggle through situations or don't understand something you're like why is this coming through it's a lesson to make you better to equip you to make you stronger we all have them lessons that come to to make us better and sometimes that particular struggle it doesn't feel good but after a while you'll find out that it was to make you more successful in matters and have you to make good choices okay and last but not least i'm going to the bottom lead by example lead by example very potent uh, message the divine feminist yeah. Being that example for yourself first, looking at your attributes and how you lead your life, and then it will help guide others. It will help guide others. And one of the most important things is that if other people, if you are a light to other people, how do you operate in the area of 
um, having an open hand to helping others and having a heart of forgiveness to help others okay and to help you because forgiveness is leading of example for yourself first forgiveness is not a feeling it's an action and then over time you see the difference because once you lead by example doing that it will help others it's an attribute a fruit of the spirit of the divine emotional aspect and divine masculine to help us be a better world you know, a better world and a, and a human being in a world that needs this area of kindness and forgiveness. Okay. But it's the, one of the things that spirit is saying to me is that don't be a lover of the world, of the things of the world, but be part of the world for human kindness and guidance so that that way it will be a better place for you and me. Okay, so that's what Spirit's message is about that. So the Divine Feminine is giving this message. Uh, let it marinate and sit with you. Listen to it over and over again. Maybe make uh, journal prompts about it to help you, guide you into this new energy of the eclipse. The Divine Feminine wanted to share this as she stood still with the sun and got the message. And they did a friendly smack and hands up and kiss and then past each other so that that way this message can come through i love you for watching today join my website https double colon slash slash ecliptic spiritual seven.com i offer personal readings um paid readings make sure that you contact me by booking it online and you may email me personally but calling me to book is very difficult i don't get to always check back and forth for that but if you email me is a better way to connect and then i can keep up better i offer conjure work and court cases money relationships so much more spiritual counseling art to alter visuals a lot for you okay and i will see you soon